what up everybody welcome back to another episode of boss reacts with the list of stuff the ninjas one third of the ninjas here and uh yeah we're as you can see getting ready for the resident evil showcase on 10 2022 uh it said it was gonna start at 3 p.m uh pacific but in the bottom left corner it said 4 25 p.m central 425 came in and did a countdown to five from five minutes 430 hit and it had another countdown of 30 minutes to start so now it's about to start with 20 seconds left i'm a big fan of resident evil have been since the first one on the original playstation been playing it ever since loved every remake from the gamecube remake to the resident Evil 2 and 3 remake more so the 2 remake resident Evil 2 is my favorite so we're supposed to get a bigger look at resident evil 4 and some stuff updates for resident evil 8 so Let's get to it. Oh my, company. How on earth did you get in here? Oh, please don't fret. I have no intention of making a meal of you. Please call me the Duke. I'm but a humble merchant. Okay. A of goods to lords and ladies, prophets, and priestesses. Mm -hmm. I do so strive to please my patrons. I hope we can become well acquainted. No. But of course, it is not I who is on display here. But rather the wares on offer for you. I deal in all manner of cards. What of those wares? But today, I trade in knowledge. Okay. This place is a veritable hoard of information. Gathered from all throughout the realms of man. The more hard won the knowledge, the higher the price. Hmm. But you look like you're well aware of the value of such things. Okay. Well... Since we're here, I've got a few morsels I'd love to share with such a connoisseur. Please, take a gander. What you got for me? World premiere. The Winter's legacy lives on. Ethan Winters. Okay. Happy half birthday, Rose. I just want to find my daughter. Third person mode. Oh! I'll always be there for you, no matter what. You are my precious rose. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. in eight days 
I'm Kento Kinoshita, the director up, of the Winter's Expansion. Ethan gave his life to protect Rose. And in the end, you see how she's grown. What kind of person is 16-year-old Rose? That's what we wanted to explore, so we decided to have her at that age in this expansion. Said you had something important to tell me? She's trying to get rid of her unwanted powers, but to do that, she is forced to return to the origin of her misfortune. Hmm. We thought that concept had a lot of potential for an interesting story. Okay. So the setting this time is the realm of consciousness, going back one more time to that village. The word nightmare is synonymous with fear. For instance, if you've ever had a childhood fever that caused a nightmare, even if they only last for an instant, like the feeling of being attacked by a giant doll or something else similarly so completely unrealistic, nope. can remain as a fragment of a memory for the rest of your life. I wanted the core of the feeling of fear to come from the kind of memories and nightmares that still haunt people to this day. We wanted to choose characters that would interest people who didn't play the mercenaries mode, but would be interested in playing a different type of character. Heisenberg, Lady Dimitris. There are characters called Lords, and playing as them allows you to perform amazing skills and attacks that a regular human could not. Being able to play them was more fun, so that's why we chose those characters. We balance things to ensure that as little time as possible is spent waiting for enemies to appear. For instance, if a player doesn't finish off an enemy, it will chase after the player. We made adjustments like this to raise the tempo and increase the fun of defeating enemy after enemy. Okay. In an FPS, you experience the game world as if it's through your own eyes. So it can be incredibly scary to play a horror game from that perspective. There are some players out there who might find it too scary or experience motion sickness in the first-person perspective. They might not enjoy the FPS genre. So we wanted to make a third-person mode for those players to enjoy the game to its fullest. While there's still a sense that of is an idiot. And fear from a third-person perspective, <laughs> when the player character dies, it doesn't feel as much like you yourself are dying. And you can enjoy playing it as a game to confront the fear that it creates, which is a very different experience. I think third-person mode is a perfect way for people to return to Resident Evil Village as both a game and an experience. Wouldn't it be okay to show Ethan's face? We gave that question some thought. So even in third person mode, if you try to turn the camera to see his face, Ethan will look away, and you're not quite able to get a good look. Each of the three editions are interesting in their own way, and we hope you really enjoy the expansion. Please look forward to it. Thank you. That was eight. Bring on the four remake. Now we have an amazing <laughs> announcement for you. Starting today, a demo for the third person mode will be available. Here is the release date and platforms for the demo. This demo can be played for a total of 60 minutes in third person mode or the previously existing first person mode. Adjustment? No, doesn't change anything. Been a while since we fought together, Captain. Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. Let's have some fun, people. Move out. Yes, sir. Okay.
Resident Evil RE Verse is free content for those who own Resident Evil Village or Resident Evil Village Gold Edition. This game has crossplay, and you can fight players across all platforms. Those who already own Resident Evil Village will be able to participate in the early access period starting October 24th. Additionally, updates are planned for Resident Evil R Reverse after it has been officially released. Here are some details for the early access and updates. Resident Evil Village will be playable on even more platforms. Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy Sandmo, and I'm part of the GPU software team at Apple. During the keynote at our Worldwide mm -hmm. Developers Conference, Capcom announced Resident Evil Village will be coming to the Mac later this year, and will take full advantage of the power and performance of Apple Silicon. We couldn't be more excited that the game will be available to Mac users around the world beginning Friday, October 28th. Okay. Resident Evil Village is the first project based on Capcom's RE engine to support the Mac and runs natively on Apple Silicon. And since the game is optimized to take advantage of metal-free features like metal effects upscaling, gameplay is incredibly responsive, with high frame rates and beautiful visuals. This means that every Mac, from MacBook Air to Mac Studio, will be able to play Resident Evil Village with ease. Stay tuned for more information soon. Hello everyone, I am Midoro from Ubitus. And I am Yonatani from Ubitus. It is a great honor to be taking part in this global project of the Resident Evil franchise on cloud with Capcom. With the launch of the cloud version, not oh, only fans from the, Japan, the but from all over the world can okay. play the game on Nintendo Switch without thinking about the download time. The application size is small but the users can experience smooth gameplay of up to 60 FPS while playing it in multiple modes that Nintendo Switch offers, such as TV mode, tabletop mode, and handheld mode. Tabletop it is great mode. to be able to focus on the gameplay without thinking about storage space or the download time. You can also check your network environment by playing the demo before you pre-order or purchase the game. The game can be pre-ordered or purchased after you play the demo. This is to make sure that those who are playing a cloud game for the first time, or may have concerns, can test it and enjoy the game. With 5G mobile network technology being so widespread recently, the barrier between installing the game and playing it on cloud is getting smaller and smaller. We hope you will enjoy it and marvel at the technology of cloud gaming, as well as its future, through the release of Resident Evil Village Cloud. I mean, I have a Switch, Resident but Evil Village Cloud will be available no, on October 28th. I could not play that on Switch. The Winter's Expansion DLC will follow on December 2nd. Furthermore, RE2 Cloud will launch on November 11th, followed by the RE3 Cloud on November 18th, and RE7 Cloud will be available on December 16th. <laughs> How delightful! Voondabah. Oh, Delectable information ought to be savored. <laughs> What's that? You want more? Yes. <laughs> what a greedy thing you are. No, it's quite all right. I love to see a healthy appetite. I'll do my best to sate your hunger. Come, have a look at this. Are you four? Here we go. Oh, there he is. There it is. Let's go. Hello, everyone. I'm the producer of Resident Evil 4, Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. Mm -hmm. I'm here today to deliver the newest information about the title. First, please enjoy this new gameplay footage. Let's go. Let's see it. World pr premiere. Let's go. Oh, hell yes. How far can you have gone? The 
Looks like the very beginning. Anyone home? They've added more. Oh. Fuck yes. Yep, something's there. No fucking way. Oh, it's Nick. Oh. Stealth? We have fucking stealth. That was a stealth segment. Lago. Bruce. This is Gondor 1. Hannigan here. What's your sit rep? Hannigan. Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Something's happened to people here. My escorts are. Gotta go. Talk later. Stealth. <laughs> That's good eating. Oh, they fighting the door. Let's go. There he is. Mm -mm. Oh, nope. Run. Get moving, Leon. His eyes, man. What did you think? Fuck, let's go! As you just saw, let's fucking go! We are paying respect to oh, the original hell yes. world while implementing new ideas and state of the art graphics to strengthen the core concepts of the title. We think this game will provide a fresh experience with a sense of familiarity if you mm -hmm. play the original that both newcomers okay. and veterans to Resident Evil 4 
will enjoy. The neck, the man. will have all new ways to attack. They are closing in on Leon during his mission and will attack with an even greater variety of methods than in the original release. Leon fights back with firearms, close combat maneuvers, a newly added parry using his knife. A and parry. Resource management and upgrade elements are critical for survival. Just as in the original, using the attaché case effectively will be key. In addition to managing the weapons and items you carry and synthesizing herbs, this also allows you to craft ammunition and other items. Okay. Over here, stranger. Of course, we can't forget the merchant. The merchant's back. You can purchase weapons and items and customize them to suit your playstyle. We've also added a trade mechanic where rare gems you've collected can be exchanged for special items. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. We are rebuilding the original game while respecting its core experience, adding new ideas and modernizing the playthrough. Look play at his fucking eyes, man. Now I'd like to share some new information regarding this product's release. We announced that Resident Evil 4 will also be available on PlayStation 4, in addition to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and Xbox Series S, and PC. The PlayStation 4 version can be upgraded to the PlayStation 5 digital version at no additional cost. I'd like to introduce two other editions we are preparing for players looking for more than the standard edition. The first is the Deluxe Edition, which will be available for all platforms. This includes additional content, such as costumes, special weapons, a treasure map, and more. Next is the physical-only Collector's Edition. This edition includes the contents of the Deluxe Edition, as well as a Leon figure, a special map, art book, soundtrack, and more. Also, pre-orders start today. If you pre-order the standard edition, you'll receive the attaché case gold and special charm handgun ammo. Okay. If you pre-order the deluxe edition or collector's edition, you'll receive the standard edition pre-order bonuses as well as attaché case classic and special charm green herb. If you pre-order the digital version on the PlayStation Store, you'll receive a mini soundtrack. You can secure these bonuses by pre-ordering Resident Evil 4. Thank you for watching so far. Thank you for that footage. We are hard to create a game that everyone will enjoy. So please, look forward to it. Before I go, we have one more update for you. Let's take a look. Another update on what? World premiere on what? What else do you have? You're here looking for someone. Okay, looks like a new trailer. Maybe some missing senorita. Oh, Ashley, okay. Where are you? Lord Your soul requires cleansing. Ashley Graham, are you in here? <laughs> Listen. We're in the president's orders. What is that? What do we do? The last steps are escaping. We need to go. I'm gonna get you home safe. You can stop right there. Ada. Who are you? What are you doing here? My thing. I won't show her. 
El Gigante look a lot more mean. What's happening to me? <laughs> now, abandon your body. Leave the girl. She's lost no matter what. How that he has chosen dead. Are oh, you gonna kill me? Let's go. March 24th, 2023. Day one. Day one. Did you enjoy the Resident Evil showcase? Yes. Let's recap. First, Resident Evil Village Gold Edition launches on Friday, October 28th. If you already own Resident Evil Village, you could purchase the Winter's Expansion DLC separately. The Winter's Expansion includes three additional modes. The third person mode, so you can enjoy the main game in a new perspective. That play is very dumb. You don't walk near big orders. shit and risk me. And the new story campaign, Shadows of Rose. Oh, yes. A demo for the third person mode will be available today. Don't forget. The early access period for Resident Evil R Inverse begins October 24th for all owners of Village. Resident Evil Village Cloud, playable on Nintendo Switch via a cloud service, will be available starting October 28th. Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and Resident Evil 7 are also coming to Nintendo Switch via cloud at a later date. Also, the Mac version of Resident Evil Village will be released on October 28th. The newest entry in the series, Resident Evil 4, will release on Friday, March 24th, 2023. And you can pre-order it today. We hope you look forward to it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Well, well, looks like you've had your fill. With such a grand display, I should hope so. Oh, you ain't got oh, no notes? I'm afraid I have an appointment I must attend to. Just a bit of bartering with another merchant. Mm -hmm. An odd chap, but his information is good. And I shouldn't say any more. Anyway, I do hope I'll see you again. I'll strive to prepare a suitably satisfying stock of goods. You better. All right. That it? Yep, looks like that's it. Yep. All right. Okay. Well, uh, that was it, everybody. Oh my God, Resident Evil Four is looking so fucking good. Loved that game. Played through it many times back on the uh, GameCube days. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Uh, me and Scoot may have to tussle over who gonna uh stream this one because that looks fucking amazing oh my goodness um they added more it's a lot grosser a lot more violent they could attack you in different ways now there's a parry there's stealth i cannot wait the stuff for resident evil 8 and the expansion in the winter update looks good they're finally releasing re verse i can't wait can't wait this was this was pretty good this is this is better than the silent hill one but oh man oh man like oh that was so good but yeah oh uh, thank you for uh if you're here all the way to the end of this video thank you for joining us and spending time with me uh as we react to the resident evil showcase it looks great big fan of resident evil uh after four they should be working on resident evil 9 or they should be working on resident evil 9 right now so oh uh, yes oh man looks so good but yeah if you enjoyed yourself, hey, leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought of the showcase. And uh, yeah, or what I should react to next. Uh, thank you for joining us here with the Lesser Stealthy Ninjas. Follow us on all our platforms, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Twitch. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Peace, everybody.